Next in the tank is an island's best kept secret for skin care. Bonjour sharks, my name is Eve Carmon Perus. My name is Stefan Jean Baptiste, and I'm the lucky honey of this beautiful woman right here. <laughs> we live in sunny Miami, Florida, and we are seeking $400,000 for 10% of our company, Crayol Essence. Sharks, let's get right to it. Crayol Essence has the liquid gold of the Caribbean, the most nourishing oil you'll ever want to use for your hair, skin, and body. We're talking about a rare beauty secret called <laughs> L'huile Masquiti, also known as Haitian castor oil. Let's show you how we make liquid gold. After six months of harvesting, the best castor seeds are hand-selected by women artisans. The seeds are then pressed using a pestle and mortar, then they are roasted and simmered to perfection. After the oil has decanted, like, like a, a fine wine, a mess is used to filter out any debris, leaving you with the raw and pure Haitian castor oil we all love! <laughs> <laughs> so whether it's moisturizing kinky, curly hair, promoting thicker lashes or brows, or relieving dry, itchy skin, we have the most high-performing natural products for you. But wait, there's, there's more. more! Crayol Essence creates work for over 300 farmers and women producers. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sharks, who's ready to help us build a billion-dollar business and share with the world the true beauty that Haiti has to offer? On that, Sharks? On Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Merci, Enfile. Thank you guys so much. Nicely yeah. done, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Stefan is now going to make sure that you guys get your own boxes from the Caribbean and you get to experience the liquid gold. Thank you. Thank you. So what you guys have in your boxes, it's a collection oh. of some of our best sellers. Lori, you're holding up right now is our mango papaya rum punch. This smells heavenly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it, it transports you to the Caribbean. Wow. Um, Damon, what you have right now, it's the mango papaya rum punch body oh, creme for your skin. Oh, that smells really oh, good. Oh my gosh. And you have Haitian grounded coffee in the body so wash, and it's 100% natural. Mm. And I have to say, no sticky feel whatsoever. Exactly. No sticky feeling, exactly. yes. So, there's a lot of creams and lotions and things out on the market. I'm very curious to know what makes yours different or better. What makes Haitian castor oil so unique is a um, composition that only the oil has, which is called racinoleic acid. It's gonna go deeper into the skin instead of sitting on top. So this is particularly important for those with eczema, psoriasis, where they need oh, a lot sure. of hydration. Is Haitian so, castor oil different than regular castor oil? Is it somehow unique? So the way castor oil is normally processed, um, what manufacturers do is they use hexin, they use bleach, and they use other additives. I love the fact that you're hiring people in Haiti, right? So can you you talk to more about those programs and what you're doing there? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So our supply chains actually starts directly out of Haiti. We actually have our own farm, about 12 hectares, where we f work with the farmers, they work for us directly, but then we also work with cooperatives. cooperatives. Most farmers live on less than $1 a day. We're paying double that to make sure that anytime they're coming with castor seeds, we give it an above, above market price. Got it, good. Okay, so what are your sales? So we started the business in 2014. We did $135,000 in sales. Okay. That's not bad. In 2016, we did $40,000 worth Whoa. of sales. What happened? At the time in 2016, we were focusing on actually selling the castor oil in bulk. Um, and one of our, our top clients actually walked away. We were still building the supply chain, still just so really building the infrastructure. You had one client to represent the majority it of It was actually business. the majority, yes. So we decided to pivot in 2017. We decided to go direct to consumer, right. and from yeah. there, our sales jumped to $327,000. Wow. Okay. So went into now the what retail happens in 2018? 2018, what happened last um, year? In 2018, we did a million dollars in sales. And what's wow. this year look nice. like? This year, we project that we will close at two million. Wow. Really? Why will you have such a significant jump in revenue at two million? Mm -hmm. So the reason that we feel that we're gonna get to two million is that we just secured a contract from the largest beauty retailer in the country, Alta. Alta. Yeah, and they're gonna be launching us in all 1,200 doors. You have a PO in hand? So we just we finished the contract, yeah. and then we should be getting the PO 
in the next few weeks. How do people know what this is? That's a really good yeah, question, I would Lori. walk by this and really not yes, know anything. Yeah. And that's why we spend lots of time making sure that we educate our retail partners and their staff. The other thing is social media. So right now we have over 100,000 followers between all of our social media outlets and our customer base. They're showing before and after pictures, which we have here that we would love to show you guys. This actually helps grow hair? Yes. yes. Well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it helps to promote hair growth. Promote That's hair what we growth. always say. We say promote <laughs> hair growth. So male pattern baldness is a major issue. And we have one of our customers, again, unsolicited, who started using our Haitian castor oil. And in three months, you could see at the crown of his head that his hair started to grow. And by the way, what does this one jar cost? So the retail price is about $22 for our scented and $16 for our original castor oil. And it costs you what to make it? It cost me $2.50 to make wow. it. Wow. Will you be profitable this year? We are profitable. What did you make in 2018 on the one million? We did about 300,000 on that. And do you have any debt now? We do have debt. How much? We do have $300,000 in debt. You know, what I love about this business is you. You could sell whatever you want to sell. You're extremely <laughs> persuasive. But interestingly, it's also what I don't like about the business. Your business is too damn dependent on you selling the product. That's just not scalable. I'm out. Guys, congratulations with what you've been able to accomplish. I just don't see this being worth $4 million. I'm out. All right, so it's just such a competitive space, and I don't have enough expertise in the beauty space. I'm out. I'm Damon, I'm sorry question. to hear that. Do you, you showed those pictures mm -hmm. of hair growth. Mm -hmm. Have you done any testing, any uh, laboratory or trials or clinicals or anything? So clinical testing is actually part of the marketing spend and part of what you know we're looking for the funding for. But you don't have that. For. To me, all it does is signal a red flag because when you put out anything like that into the consumer market, you really have to have a lot of proof backing that up because you don't have the clinical, so I'm sorry. But the I'm customers are, are giving least, their yeah. experience. But as a product person and as a shark, there's tons of fake scam ads. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and we, we are all that. victim to yeah. those fake scam mm -hmm. ads because they'll Photoshop our images mm -hmm. and they'll say that we back that right. mm -hmm. and we don't at all. So now I have to be triply careful. Well, Lori's red flag might be this character's greatest <laughs> attraction. So I look at it and say, what you do have is sales. A potential of two million in sales if this works out with this retailer. There's a lot of risk in this thing. I don't think the business is worth four million dollars today. I'm sorry. I'll give you the four hundred thousand dollars. I want thirty-seven percent. Oh. Okay. Thank you so much for that offer. Would you do four hundred thousand for twenty percent? Never. 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 This has risks. All businesses have risk. Look, I'm impressed by you. Now we're having a tough love discussion. Mm -hmm. It's about money. I want to make money. 37% is too rich. Never, Can no, you meet isn't. me in the middle at 25%? No, 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 no. Look, you have to make a decision. Mm -hmm. I'll still have the $400,000 when you walk out that door and yes, someone else and will I be will sitting still in front have of me. That, you know, account where I'm going to make $2 million this year and go on to make five, ten, and make sure that we get to $100 million. Because what that's what businesses of our rank and size have done, and I want you to be part about it, that. But, but this that is your is moment. You have to make a decision. But 37% uh, is way too high. There's no way we can give that, that much. You know, if you don't like it, don't take it. Lots right. of risks. That's why they call it the Shark Tank. What are some of your ideas? What would, what would you do to essentially help us? Well, now you got to sell yourself. Yeah, exactly. I don't have to sell myself. I'm Mr. I'm Wonderful. You sell yourself. We're having, you you know what we're I having do? a conversation. We're having a tough love conversation. Tough love conversation, Mr. All right, I'll justify yeah. myself. I have $400,000. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Make a decision. We recognize that, that sales we cure all. We you know, yes. in, in 2016, we were getting ready to shut down the business because of having lost that. that don't tell me that. that. I don't no, want to hear no, that. No, no, for sure. You're not focusing on the issue at hand. $400,000 for 37%, yes or no? Stefan, you are very emotional. Oh. Can you share why? <sighs> that time period was really tough for us in 2016. I mean, even to the point where we almost just closed the business down. It, it challenged our relationship, you know, feeling as if we 
sort we of failed our, failed our community, failed ourselves. It's not just about the great products. It's about the mission of helping to create a blueprint for poverty alleviation, which is a huge problem around the world. It's my culture, it's my identity. It's, 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 it's everything that my parents sacrificed to get us here. I mean, we, we shouldn't be here. But you are here and you have an offer. What <laughs> have you decided to do? Uh, Mr. Wonderful, would you be interested in thinking through this, doing a royalty deal? Royalty? Yes. That brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> I, I'd like to hear what you have in mind. 15 cents for every bottle sold. So that, so I don't have any equity, it's just a royalty? It's just a royalty deal. <sighs> Tell you what, final offer. I want 25 cents royalty on every unit sold in perpetuity and 5% equity, and you have a deal. You have a deal. Let's do it. Uh, wow, what a turnaround. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Congratulations, good Thank luck. You. Thank you. Wow, what a surprise twist. Boy, she's got a lot of fire in that belly. We did a royalty deal. <laughs> So no, I was not, not expecting, expecting Mr. Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, to be a partner in a Haitian beauty brand. Yeah. <laughs> not quite what you think of every day, but you know, Kevin O'Leary surprises exactly. you. Exactly.